Well, Russ, right now we do have an update for you. In the past 30 minutes, we have learned that this is a deadly hit and run accident. And investigators say the victim in this was a female. I want you to take a look, though, because you can really get a glimpse of just the severity of the crash. This overhead uh, sign bridge here near the Latimer Bridge is mangled by the impact of this crash. So TechStock crews out here right now working to remove it at this hour. This is what we know, though, from the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. They tell us a, Do a Dodge Charger and a Nissan Altima were involved in this crash. We're told one person was pinned in the wreckage and DFR had to cut the victim out of the vehicle, but they later died at the scene. And the impact of this crash crumpled that overhead sign along the bridge. It spans the two ramps towards 45 and 75. And at this hour right now, we still have two lanes that are closed. Now, the Dallas County Medical Examiner was also called out here to the scene. This is still an, very much an active investigation out here, but this is going to cause some, some issues for you on your morning commute this morning. So let's go ahead and check in with Madison Sawyer for a look at some alternate routes this morning. Madison. Yeah, so Brittany, this is not affecting the main lanes of 30 eastbound, but as she mentioned, it's affecting your transition lanes, getting you to I-45 southbound and 75 northbound. So if you travel in this area and you usually use that ramp, this is going to impact your morning drive. But again, as she mentioned, the main lanes of 30 eastbound completely back open. The only lanes still affected are your ramps to 75 north and to 45 south. So what that means is if you're trying to use that ramp, you'll need to get it on it from the west westbound side. So you'll head past the interchange. Then you'll exit for 48A, which is your exit to Haskell and Peak Street. Take Peak Street, U-turn. Then once you're on the westbound lanes of 30, that's when you'll be able to access 75 northbound or 45 southbound from that area. Now again, Russ and Karen, this is going to impact traffic throughout the morning rush. Again, the main lanes of 30 completely open now, but again, those transition lanes getting you from 30 eastbound to 45 southbound and 75 northbound still closed.